Hi, this is Jim St. Ledger from Intel. In this network transformation podcast series, we've talked about many topics. Today, we're going to focus on traffic in the network. It's exploding. Our devices and the content we're chasing down in our digital lives keeps putting pressure on the network. According to a wide range of studies, global network traffic will increase threefold over the next five years. Those same studies predict that global annual network traffic will exceed the zettabyte threshold by the end of 2016. Processing such a massive amount of data flowing through your network each day is a monumental task. Fortunately, packet processing makes the challenge a bit more manageable. Let's talk now about what packet processing is. Packet processing refers to a wide range of solution technologies and algorithms that guide a packet of data through the network. Packet processing solutions are often classified into two categories. The first is the control plane, which manages and plans for efficient and reliable transfer of packets from origin to destination. The data plane is next. The data plane, refers, also referred to as the forwarding plane, is where you carry out commands of the control plane to perform some content-specific transformation that takes a content-driven action. Packet processing is used within data centers and across data centers and is currently utilized by many of the largest organizations, names you know, such as Verizon, AT&T, Google, Amazon, and many others. In short, packet processing reduces the strain of managing data flow on your network and facilitates the streamlined transfer of information. In the recent past, efficient packet processing was only possible on dedicated hardware and software platforms. However, Advances in NFV and cloud technologies have made it possible to execute high efficiency packet processing on Intel-based standard high volume servers. This offers many potential benefits over traditional packet processing, including increased flexibility and speed to deliver new services, a reduction in network total cost of ownership or TCO, streamlined additions of new connectivity and services, and reduced time of investment and staffing costs. It also adds an ability to accomplish these tasks that once required specialized builds on proprietary hardware platforms. There are many technologies behind packet processing. A wide range of solutions make packet processing a potentially viable and beneficial strategy for your network. They include things like Data Direct IO or DDIO, which significantly improves performance by placing packets into the L3 cache, reducing the memory bandwidth use and packet latency. DBDK, the Data Plane Development Kit, strives to maximize capacity and minimize core use. Hyperscan, it's a pattern matching software library that speeds the search for malware in your network. And Intel Quick Assist technology that provides security and compression acceleration capabilities used to improve performance and efficiency of packet processing. One of the key enablers for packet processing is open source software communities. These communities bring together the industry to converge their research and development efforts to build out a standard solution that can be deployed into your network. As collaboration continues, the effectiveness and standardization of packet processing solutions is likely to rise. Thank you for joining me on this podcast today. Please visit past and future episodes, and I'll see you back here again. Thanks.